Multiverse Portals is an incredibly powerful plugin which allows you to create in-game portals to anywhere you want. But there's a little bit of setup required to get this working. So here's your guide to using the Multiverse Portals plugin on your Minecraft server. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure that the Multiverse Portals and Multiverse Core plugins are installed on your server. To do this, simply head to the Mods and Plugins tab on your server panel and search Multiverse. Then install the latest version of the Core and Portals plugins. Now restart your server to finish installing the plugin files. And before we get going, make sure you're an operator on your server because the rest of this tutorial will be using in-game commands. Now that Multiverse Portals has been installed on your server, you can head into Minecraft and connect your server. First, we'll create our portals. They can be any block, any size, and can be stood upright like a nether portal or horizontal like an end portal. Now type forward slash MVP space wand to spawn in your portal selection wand. With the wand in your hand, left click on one corner of your portal, then right click on the opposite corner. Now your portal is selected, but not created. To create your portal, type forward slash MVP space create, then give your portal a name. Now repeat this process with your second portal. And now you'll have two portals created, but they aren't connected to anything yet. To connect your portals, just type forward slash MVP modify, and then the name of your first portal. For us, that's blue. Then type destination and end with P for portal, colon, and then the name of your second portal with no spaces. So for us, that's orange. Now our blue portal will lead to our orange portal, but the orange portal doesn't lead back. So we'll repeat that command, but with the names of the portals reverse. So there's your guide to setting up portals using the Multiverse Portals plugin on your Minecraft server. There's a bunch more functionality to this plugin, so we've left the full wiki in the description. And if you have any questions, you can access support via the helpful chatbot at the bottom of your server panel or with our expert support team via the support tab.